Now, you resellers know this out there, but for you non-resellers out there, just type in vintage Ralph Lauren, completed listings sold, and then click in highest price first and you will not believe what you find. Good morning, everybody. It is 5.38 on a Saturday morning. Every once in a while, we have a few things sell. I ship out on Friday nights. We have a few things sell in the middle of the night, and I like to get them shipped out before I go yard sailing. Sometimes I don't do it if it's one item, but we had four sell, so I want to get those ready to go and ship them out before I take off, and I'll drop them off at the post office on the way. So let me show you first my yard sale uh, supplies, and then I'll show you what sold last night. All right, first some yard sale and supplies to make deals and dives happy down there in North Carolina. Here are the 20s, here are the, five, here are the 10s, here are the 5s, and $100 in 1s. Uh, and then I have a bunch of quarters inside of that fanny pack and a few uh, leftover dollars from last week. So, this is what sold. We have these three old world ornaments that sold last night, and this... These sold for $24.81, and that's going to go on the Happy Little Accident Hall tabulation chart, and we'll do that later. This old-school Disney, like, carousel toy, it's missing the discs, um, but I paid a quarter for it. This sold for, I think, $14.95. If this thing were complete and working, it'd probably be worth $50. Bucks. Then we had this, I don't know what it's called, Laura Mercier. And it sold for seven bucks. We're into that for maybe a dime. We bought it in a lot. And last but not least, another Liberty University sale. And this is brand new with tags. It's an older logo. And it sold for $24.95. All right. So I don't know if we're going to put this on the yard sale video or not. But if we do, come with us. If not, check out our yard sale video later. And we'll see you next time. Hello everybody, welcome back to Commonwealth Picker. We are in the eBay cave and we just have a couple items, three I think going out tonight. Unfortunately, not a heavy night. So we're going to take these three items and we're going to add it to uh, tomorrow night. Hopefully we have a better day tomorrow than we had today. But you know what, that's kind of part of the business. So I haven't been listing too much the last few days. So sales are going to go down just a little bit, which is, which is okay. You know, to have 800 items... I think we have just under 900 items in the Commonwealth Picker store and about 30 or 40 items in the store for the homeschool hustlers. Um, to have that many items and only have three sales in a day is pretty disappointing. But, you know, we had 14 sales just a few days back in one day um, for pretty high priced items. So when you get those days that aren't so good, take the opportunity to take some pictures and that's what I've been doing here. I've been taking some pictures and I have time today to answer a question from weeks and weeks ago that I didn't get to answer and somebody asked me about a particular kind of hat that I was mentioning that you should be on the lookout for. Uh, there's a few different ones. Um, I think this person wasn't talking about the Louisville hat. They weren't talking about the John Deere hat that we sold for a couple hundred bucks. Um, that video is a few videos back uh, maybe about almost a month ago now. Um, that was a, a fun little video and a fun little sale. They were talking about a shark tooth hat and they couldn't remember the name. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. <clears throat> if you find one of these type of hats, it's Logo Athletic, but it is the shark tooth. So it looks like a bunch of waves or they call them shark tooth hats. Um, you would like, if you find one like this listed as a shark tooth hat, I sold a Memphis, the first one I ever sold was a Memphis hat. And now I can't even remember the name of that team. Sorry, <laughs> you people from Tennessee. Memphis what? You tell me in the comments. Tell me what team Memphis is. At any rate, and I found one that was really beat up. And I put it out there for like 15 bucks, and it got bought in like 10 seconds. I'm like, what in the world? Who would want this hat so bad? And this was a while back, a long time ago. And I realized, hey, you know what? I messed up. I probably could have got 30 to $50 for that hat, even in that condition. So I've sold a few Dale Earnhardt um, shark teeth hats. This one I've got listed. I can't even remember what I have it listed for, but I've had it out there for a long time and it hasn't sold. But my guess is this is probably out there for around 50 bucks. It's got the tag on it. 
um, but I sold another Dale Earnhardt shark tooth hat, I think for 80. Um, I don't know what it is about this style. Maybe there's something wrong with the listing. I'll have to check it out. But uh, shark tooth hats, the three line hats, the hats with the Louisville on the back, um, and then obviously the old John Deere hats, the old you know Chevy hats, the old Coca Cola hats, the old Pepsi hats. And there's all Mountain Dew. There's all kinds of hats out there that sell for a for a bunch of money so my suggestion is to not go out and buy some some you know program from somebody telling you what to buy it's really simple type in vintage hats into ebay and go to sold listings and then click on the search to to go to highest priced first and you're going to get tons and tons of hats. just start scrolling down and getting familiar with those things and that's really a good strategy to do for just about anything Type in, you know, whatever it is you want to type in. I, I did, I've been talking about these cans lately, these Krylon cans. Just type in vintage Krylon and go to completed listings and then search backwards. Search down, you know, highest listed item first, which is never how you would search an item to buy it. But it is how you search an item to find the best ones. And you're usually not going to get that top dollar for stuff but you are going to be able to gain that knowledge without actually having to experience it. I would suggest doing the same thing for VHS tapes because VHS is pretty much worthless, but there are some out there worth a bunch of money. I would suggest doing the same thing for cassette tapes. I would suggest doing the same thing for, well, video games, but you know, that's kind of obvious. Uh, I think there's a few other items out there that you could go out there and just look up and then reverse, reverse them and do highest price plus shipping first and you'll you'll find the top items just check out for you and now you resellers know this out there but for you non-resellers out there just type in vintage ralph Lauren completed listings sold and then click in highest price first and you will not believe what you find you won't believe what you find with krylon you won't believe you type in rubbermaid highest price first you type in tupperware highest price first you type in all kinds of things like that and you will find the top items you will find the holy grail items and because you have that in the back of your head you'll see it one of my very first video which is just absolutely terrible um, I filmed it going this way. I mean, I, I don't even know what I was doing. At any rate, I had found a uh, Ralph Lauren down jacket. They called a suicide or downhill jacket. And I found one and it's because I knew what I was looking for. I'd never seen one out there in the wild picking, but I knew what I was looking for. It was 1130. 1130 on a Saturday in a parking lot sale. Hundreds if not thousands of people had gone through that parking lot and it was hanging hanging up right there visible as could be and nobody got it but because i was able to get on there and get that knowledge beforehand i knew that it sold so that's the kind of thing you want to do and you'll you'll be surprised to find those items that are worth a ton of money that people just walk right past so hello everybody just remembered that i had never gone through the rest of that box that uh, john the cincinnati picker sent us i bought a lot of hats from John on MSP Auctions, Mothership Products Auctions. And I like to give them a shout out while we're talking about them. They got a, a great show when they do their auctions. And obviously I got the auction so I could get John's hat. Uh, I was bending against Lonnie from Garage Flips and I wanted to get that hat so I could give it out. And I figured I'd go through the rest of this box and we're gonna go through this box and take a look at what was in it. I paid a lot in my mind, you know, compared to garage sale prices when I initially bought it. I think there's 50 hats. We paid around $150, that's $3 a hat. Now you gotta remember though, I got John's hat in the deal too, so that was kind of the bargain. But regardless, even if we paid that much per hat, I bet you knowing John, seeing John work, um, throughout the years, I think there's probably enough in there that we can make a good profit and still have his hat to give give out as a gift to somebody. So let's take a take a look what was in the box. All right, first of all, I want you to know that this is the first time I've gone through it. So I took it out of a regular box and I put it in one of the USPS uh, crates that I'm not supposed to have. And I usually take this and put it inside of the. Uh, ikea bag on the way to the post office at times at any rate i put it in there because i needed the box that i shipped that michelangelo head in the other day if you look back at that video and we shipped it in the box that uh 
that that thing came out of these hats came out of so obviously this hat was on top uh, i'm an angel fan so this is an old school angels hat i like that one here's john's hat that we're going to be sending out soon and we're just going to start going through and seeing what we have let's see whacking nut hat i think there's a couple let's see mickey mouse it's a nice one um, that definitely should have a little bit of resale value. I'm not sure about this one. Uh, this one definitely, the old Houston Astro style hat is definitely a desirable one. The old Nolan Ryan uh, hat. This is in really, really good, clean condition. It's going to sell pretty good. Uh, old Cubs hat. I'm wondering what the brand is on these because um, looks pretty good. Uh, all right, so this is going to be good. Made in Korea, so these are definitely... Made in Korea, these are definitely going to be some decent hats. Irvine, California, look at that. My old stomping grounds. Um, and I can't for the life of me remember what that symbol stands for. And I'll probably remember it before the end of this video. Because I've sold 50 of these hats like that. Seattle Mariners. Hard Rock, Hard Rock Cafe, Nor Nor Norfolk. Not sure what that one is sure what that one is texas rangers old school Cavs hat that'll have some value old school pinstripe redskins a starter hat that'll have some value not sure about that one looks like a minor league hat of sorts and there's two of them in there that'll have some value three of them in there that'll be an easy lister a bangles corduroy that'll have some value Holy moly, look at all these. Old school Lakers Pro Line. Nope, I take it back. That's the Pro Line. The Pro Line 49ers with the tag. So that'll definitely have some value. Old school Lakers will have value. So you can find a... It says Pro Sports Specialties. And that's a wool hat made in Korea. So it's a small size, but it's wool made in Korea. This is going to be a really nice one. Niners, right here, reseller. All right, we got a three line hat. You ever out there looking for three lines hat? They always have a little bit of value depending on condition. This is a really good shape, so that'll definitely be a might be a twenty dollar hat. Cincinnati Reds, new with tags, nine fifty hat. Who, old school Texas Rangers? That's a good one. The Hawaii hat will have some value. I don't know what that is. Kauai, it's got a hard rock button on it. DC. A USPS hat, that's really cool. Sports specialties again with tags, Cowboys. So definitely, I would say we're probably close to making our 150 back before we even start digging in here. National Tractor Pullers Association, that'll have some value. Old school Braves, Devil Bliss, I'm not familiar with that one. A old school uh, USPS trucker hat, that'll have value. Another one of those, so hopefully it's got some value. Charlie Hustle, Pete Rose, look at that. Cornwell Tools, Your Duck Commander, new with tags. Probably not too much value there. Toro, those camo hats always seem to sell. Old school Blue Jays, that'll sell. Old school Giants, that'll sell. Don't know what that one is. Those pins are probably good as well. KC, old school. Hmm. That should be good. Mets, old school. Sports specialties. Should be a really good hat. Never seen that one before. Another Devil's Bliss. I need to check that one out. Devil Biss. I'm even pronouncing it wrong bunch of those in there i think this is an interesting one we saw that on top of the other lot and that is a louisville hat i believe louisville cap derby old school chevron that's kind of interesting alaska rod and reel club and a st louis hat so I'm thinking we will, uh, we'll keep a running tally of this and we'll see. So it's going to be a little bit of work for sure. We'll just get in here and knock out all the pictures all at one time. Um, it'll probably take about uh, 20 minutes max to take all the pictures. And then depending on how we list them, it'll take a couple hours to list. 
and ship. Definitely good enough to make some money on. And we got to give this away to somebody too. Thank you.